once your cup is leather hard where you can push on it and it doesn't give and once your handle is leather hard where you can push on it and it doesn't move then it's time to attach the handle to the cup which it's always I always think it's best to put it right by the seam so what you're going to do is you're going to look at it from the side and decide if it's high medium or low in this case this would be the best and then you sometimes you have to trim it a little bit to make it just level this is pretty well trimmed then you turn the cup on the side you mark where you want to put the handle So then you have a, a, a mark there and a mark there. And you're going to use water to create slip. So you wet it. And you only want to wet the, the area that you're going to be attaching the handle to because it essentially melts the clay. And that's not usually a good thing. And then what you're doing is called scoring. You're creating a rough surface so that the water can go into the clay. And you're also creating a kind of a sticky surface that will help the handle stick to the cup. So you do that a couple of times. Then you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to wet just the edge. When you wet the clay, it creates a, a liquid on the surface that we call slip. Slip is liquefied clay and you're once again you're creating a rough surface and because the handle is smaller you actually want to do it twice then since the piece is leather hard you can stand it up you can put the handle where you think it will go best. You check it this way. You want to look at it before you attach it. You want to look at it this way and also this way to make sure it's not crooked. And then you're going to actually put your hand on the inside so you're supporting it. You go side, side, up, down, side, side, up, down, side, side, up, down, side, side, up, down. You'll notice that the slip comes out that's actually a good sign. So you can clean it up with your fettling knife. And then this is the part that freaks out all students you have to try to pull the handle off. And that if the handle is going to come off now, it's much easier to just cut it off and do it again. But this one is not, not budging. So that's the handle on the cup. You want to turn it over, put your name on it. And then at this point, it's leather hard. It has the handle on it. It doesn't need to be uh, covered. And that's your cup. But you never hold it by the handle until it comes out of the second kiln, which is once it has glaze on it. Otherwise, you just don't hold it by the handle yet.